What's up you guys, it's Adana, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you guys are staying safe out there and practicing your distancing, not necessarily social distancing, but physical distancing because we all need some socialization in our life. A few weeks back, I made a video saying some like seven or eight things that I wish I knew before I started PA school. And one of those things that I listed was that there were online slash hybrid programs. And since that video, many of you have been like, well, Adana, can you tell me what the programs are? Or I can't find the programs. So that's what this video is for. And I think it's pretty relevant since we are in this whole pandemic coronavirus time. We have no idea what schooling is gonna be like for a PA school as we move forward. And so maybe there might be more than just these three that I'm listing for you, but these are the three that you can start with as you start to apply for PA school in the upcoming months. So the first program I'm gonna to go to is the University of North Dakota. I just typed in their hybrid program because I had already done some research on it. So let me click this for you guys to see. And here we go. Gosh, cookies always popping up. So you see, again, they have their little coronavirus update there for you all, so you can take a look at that. But this is their program. So UND's PA program is the only PA program in North Dakota and has held continuous accreditation since 1974, which is actually good to hear because you want a school that is kind of tried and true, okay? Here we go. So it says, our distance education program provides students with the potential to complete online coursework and clinical experiences in their home area. And I know that's what most of you are looking for because maybe you are you know, married with kids or you're single with kids, whatever the case may be, and you need to be at home. So this is what you want. It says this innovative curricula design provides exceptional comprehensive physician assistant education and helps solidify skills and concepts. So let's look at their curricula design. Okay, so it says unique design. Let's click on that. So here it has, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit for you guys. So it has the years broken down. So clearly this is like a three year-ish type program, maybe what, 24 months, okay. So it's 24 months and you can see each year broken down. So it's color coded obviously um, for what you're gonna do on each in each block and it shows that one week you're actually on campus. So in the gray, it says first two semesters dedicated to online coursework. So you have two semesters where you're actually at home and then you come back for two weeks in November. And then in the second year, this would obviously be your clinical year. So you can hopefully choose those clinical rotations at home as well. Um, you would have to ask them if they allow you to do rotations at home or if they want you to do it in North Dakota or the surrounding states. Um, but that is something right there where it says primary care, primary care, primary care. So this is a primary care dedicated PA program. So if you're interested in primary care and you also want to do online coursework or a hybrid version, then this might be the program for you. Part It says classroom instruction referred to as didactic, is conducted on the UND campus for three separate occasions of four to five weeks each. So that's just three months on their campus. I mean, rather than like I spent 12 years on my, <laughs> sorry, it felt like 12 years, you guys, but it was only 12 months. So I spelt, spent 12 months on my campus during didactic year. And then um, obviously I was home for clinicals, uh, but only three months that I think I would have been willing to do that. So that is University of North Dakota. Let me just go back. Let's see if I can go back just to their uh, requirements so you guys can get a look at that. So minimum GPA 3.0, great. Um, everything must be completed by the 31st of December of the previous year. You need a four-year bachelor's degree from an accredited school, which are all things that most PA schools require. Grade of B or higher, unless denoted below. Again, 3.0. Okay, so this is another thing. Preference is given to candidates whose core science work has been completed within seven years of application deadline, okay? So although you are encouraged to apply if you have completed, like if you're in recently new graduate, then you're gonna get preference. 
Um, and these are your typical sciences that you would already likely have. So this is a good option for you guys, okay? So one, University of North Dakota, they have a hybrid program. So there you go, a present for you, a one online hybrid program down. So let's go to the second one that I promised you all. So the next program that I'm gonna preview for you guys is the University of Wisconsin-Madison's PA program. So their PA program is also like a hybrid or online version. So let's go to their website. All right, so it says, the University of Wisconsin-Madison Physician Assistant Distance Learning Option is a rigorous three-year program that allows you to stay in your home community while completing the majority of your education. Yay! And that, again, I mean, had I known that there are options like this, I would have definitely, like, apply to those schools first because staying at home is always a preference when you have other things going on, right? So the format is online, program type, master's. It takes you three years to complete it, 93 graduate credits. Tuition as a non-resident is double that of a resident. So those are all things to take into consideration. More than 80% of your PA education occurs in the place where you live as you watch videos recorded in front of classes on the UW Madison campus each week. As a distance student, you are required to spend the first summer semester on our UW-Madison campus and make two campus visits of three or four days for each um, subsequent semester. This blended approach provides you with the flexibility to learn from home while creating supportive relationships with faculty and fellow students. So this is actually a really, really good option. So again, you start off with the class and then you just make visits um, to the campus here and there. And so if you can you know, um, spare three months of your life in another state, uh, or like with the other program I was talking about, one month here and then you know another month there, weeks at a time. Then that those are these are good options for you. So their minimum GPA and requirement is a 3.2. So clearly it's a little bit higher than your typical 3.0. So that is something to take into consideration. You can have two outstanding prerequisites at the time of application, but they have to be completed by the time you matriculate. Okay, your usual statistics, anatomy, micro, biochem, um, obviously your general abnormal or developmental psychology, they are only requesting one semester when most, like some other schools request both your general psychology and then either an abnormal or developmental psychology. So that is good. GRE is not required. Oh my gosh. I know some of you guys are jumping out of your beds or seats wherever you're watching me right now because this is looking really good. Um, so yeah, so that's it. And a minimum of 1,000 direct patient care uh, hours is what they require. Wire. So this is it, UW Madison's PA program. So again, it's a hybrid option where you do uh, perform some of your learning there on campus, but again, 80% of your education is at home. So that is a good option. And last but not least uh, is the program that most of you already know about, which is Yale. So let's just go at, to the admissions overview. So their deadline um, for their final application is September, but if you want priority, get your application in by June 1st, okay? And obviously, so it's saying CASPA opens up April 30th. They do per participate with CASPA, so you have to send your application to Yale through CASPA. And if you don't know what CASPA is, go type it into my YouTube channel. I made a video on that. And if you want more videos like this, please subscribe and like this video. Um, prerequisite requirements, let's look at that for you all. Okay, so nothing lower than a B in the courses to be considered. So nothing lower in these prerequisite courses than a B minus, right? So no Cs and that, you, you guys, you have to look at all of these things because the, these simple mistakes are the ones that will prevent you from getting into a program by not looking at this stuff. Okay, so it says the 12 month didactic phase is designed to introduce students to concepts of basic and clinical science, principles of human 
behavior and research methodology. Yale's program does offer you to, um, you to do your clinical rotations at your home and they like provide that for you. So it says, can I do clinical rotations in any area of the country? And it says, we believe in the quality of clinical rotation training is critical. Um, additionally, the ARCPA requires adequate monitoring. We do have some rotations in states as Colorado, Illinois, Maine, Kentucky, and Texas, but generally the students rotate in the state of Connecticut. So, um, you will likely have your rotation in Connecticut, but if you want to set up your own rotation, if you can find a preceptor, um, it seems like that is an option for you to do. So that is something that you should just keep in mind. Like, don't think like, oh, okay, just because it is online, I'm automatically going to do um, everything at home in my home state. Um, obviously, that's kind of what they're going for, but there are... Um, you know, exceptions to that little, that rule. There are little caveats that if for whatever reason they don't have something set up in your state or they can't get something set up in your state, then you will likely have to just revert to Connecticut. But I mean, you're going to Yale, it's online and I think that that is a good option for you all. So these are the three programs that I just kind of wanted to highlight for you all. If you are interested in any of those programs, I will leave links for them in the description box below. Again, you do your own research. You can Google um, galore, you know, like hybrid programs, online programs, see what comes up for you all. And like I said, with this current climate, like who knows, like the majority of programs may be moving to an online format, format at least for the first semester because, <laughs> we're not we're not doing any type of actual like in class learning right now because of social distancing. So, um these are some options for you guys to think about especially since we are going into the month of April and CASPA will be reopening for the 2020-2021 cycle in just a few short weeks. So, I hope you like this video. If you have any other questions for me, please leave them in the comment section below. Like this video, um follow me on Instagram and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time. Stay safe. Bye.